Hey everyone, this is Leske here, back with another FIFA 21 Pro Clubs player build for you guys today. And in this video, we have for you a center back build, which this is the first time on my channel that I have posted a center back build. I actually did not use this center back build. I made the center back build, like in the skill tree and everything, but I had my any actually try it out and use it in all of our games. And it actually worked out pretty well for us. You could see, like, the effect that this build had compared to just a normal computer center back. Because both of the normal computer center backs are, I believe, like 6'3 and not that fast. So it's good to have a smaller center back that's a little bit faster paired with a taller, stronger center back, like the computer center backs. So this is why I made a 6 foot, 149 pound center back to try and compete with the pacey players up top that you will come up against as an any, or if you just want to play center back, that's the only position you play. Um, this will be a good build for you too. But also if you play any and you want to try a center back build as you're playing any, this might be a good build for to try out. So we aren't making like a right back or a wing back or anything like that and converting him to play center back. This is actually listed as the center back position. So we are a center back straight up. Um, and as you guys can see on this physical page, the body page, we are listed at six foot, 149. Six foot is a good height to still win balls in the air, like score off of corners, um, clear the ball off of corners, the other team's crossing the ball in, win the ball, win the ball off goal kicks, those 50-50s over some players. Um, as a center back, you already have crazy physical stats like jumping and strength. And then on top of that, with the six foot, you should be able to win pretty much every header over all the players you go up against. Because most of the players you go up against up top are going to be smaller. There might be some taller ones, but I still think you will win it over them because you have crazy hops on this build and you are six foot. Like you could have maybe went 5'10 for more pace, but then you're risking that height. I think six foot is like the minimum height to where you can consistently win headers over people. 5'10 is kind of pushing it. You'll still win headers, but um, you won't win it as much. Um, so I went for six foot, 149, and now we can move on to the skill tree. All right, so over here on this center back skill tree, as you guys can see, we're listed as a six foot, 149 pound right footed center back. And on this bottom right side section, you can see the 91 overall of this build, which is actually pretty high. One of the higher ratings I've had for my builds. Usually the cams, I believe, get the highest rating from what I've noticed. Um, but center backs actually get pretty high rating as well. So for this video on the skill tree, we're actually going to start with the pace. On most of my builds, I just started with the physical and go from the left to the right. But this time, I'm going to go from the right to the left and start with the pace. So for this center back build, obviously, we're just going to go full pace upgrade at 6 foot 149. And what that will get you is 83 acceleration, 88 sprint speed, which is pretty good for a center back. It's nothing like crazy, but if you make him any taller or any heavier, he will get slower. So just keep that in mind. You're not going to make him any faster than this unless you make him shorter, like 5'10 or something. But this is a lot better sprint speed stats than... Um, the center backs. It's almost equal to the outside backs, like the computer outside backs you get as an any. I think it's a pretty similar sprint speed to those, to those outside backs, but it's way better than the default center backs. I don't know what they're at, but I think they might be at like 76, 77, 78 pace since they're like 6'3", pretty strong. They are not the paciest. So having another center back paired up with one of those stronger, tankier center backs is actually a really good combo, and that's what my any did uh, when he was playing his games and he did really well trying trying to defend with both the tall center back and the shorter center back to help him sweep up like those through balls and behind to the faster guys it is pretty clutch for that so the pace really didn't seem like much of a problem when he was using this build um, obviously there's times like where I build like a player has a 5-4 center forward or a winger or whatever it may be, a striker, and they just have like 99 pace, like you're not going to do anything, you're not going to be able to guard that or do anything about that, even if your guy was 5'10", you might have to make your guy like 5'4", which would be absolutely stupid because people would just be crossing it to him, and then they would just be winning headers over over him in the box, so that's why we have that 6 foot height, just to win those headers and actually be like a real center back, a physical threat in the back, um, but yeah, you still might be, get beat and caught out on like some one-on-ones, like the other team might get some one-on-ones. Um, but this will hopefully help reduce some of those chances that the other team will get and alleviate some of that pain from like just all the pace whores out there and pro clubs just abusing that pace. 
Hopefully this build will help out with that just a little bit. So that's it for the pace guys. Now we're gonna be moving on to the shooting section, which I only have a couple things. It's literally just heading actually, because I'm not gonna put anything on the shooting section unless it's heading actually. I decided not to go for the power header. The power header makes you get all this other stuff, this finishing and this volleys, and it's just a waste of skill points. Um, power header can be very clutch, but really this build isn't focused on winning headers. Even though my teammate got a lot of headers with this build, I think like four or five off of corners could be wrong, like three or four goals off of corners with this build when he was using it. And even though it's not like a huge build, like the jumping is crazy for a center back, so that helps a ton on corners. So we, this was really just some extra skill points I think we had. And then, like I say in a lot of my videos, I actually add this second heading actually on here. It gives you plus two for only one skill point for the second heading actually. So technically, you're getting plus three heading actually for only two skill points. And that'll get you up to 89 heading actually, which might help quite a bit on some corners. And you might be able to, you might see yourself score some goals with your build off of corners because of the crazy hops. You'll see a lot of the clips that I've posted of the corner header goals he scored in game with this build um, and a lot of the goals were very clutch and clutch situations so now we're gonna be moving on to passing over here on passing like the main focus with a center back the center backs already have pretty good base passing stats especially for short passing like if I take them off right here just looking at the base passing stats for this build is 80 long pass 89 short pass which isn't bad at all but looking at this what I'm really trying to focus on since you are a center back you might be pinging in some long balls some LBYs some through balls to your teammates up top and since the short passing is already phenomenal we just really wanted to bump up the long passing and this was some extra skill points anyways so might as well add it to long passing and it can be pretty clutch. He actually did get a few assists with this build also, like stealing the ball, driving the ball up the field with the center back and then playing like a long ball or like a long wide through ball to me or whatever it may be. He actually got a few assists with this build as well, along with some goals. So what I did is you're gonna go down to the second long passing on the left side. And again, that'll give you plus two long passing for only one skill point and what that will do is bump up one short passing to 90 short passing which is actually really freaking good that's crazy for a center back 83 long passing and then it'll go up for plus two again which would be be 83 obviously and then the last thing is this long passing on the right the first thing that'll get you up to 84 long passing so this is pretty much the highest you can get up the long passing with these skill points that we have like obviously you could bump it up even more and then this one gives you plus three like you could probably get it almost to 90 if you wanted to um but really i don't think that's too worth it you're not playing like cam or anything you're not going to be playing a ton of crazy passes through balls in behind the defense or anything like that but a situation might come where you might need to play a through ball in behind to one of your players and you might get an assist so having these high passing stats can be pretty clutch for that situation so now moving on to dribbling so over here on this dribbling page guys as you guys can see we went for the full agility and balance upgrade on the left side which is actually really good in my opinion like these stats for a center back which the six foot height helps us out a lot if we went any higher like six two six four six six the agility and balance would probably be in the 70s and this build will feel a lot clunkier kind of like the computer center backs, the computer defenders and pro clubs right now. Um, but this agility and balance will actually help you when it comes to like the smaller defenders making those left stick dribbles, those sharp cuts, those turns, those skill moves that they're trying to do. This agility and a balance on this build will help you basically left stick and like jockey defend and stay in front of them easier. It's basically a little bit more responsive than it would be. You're not gonna feel as clunky as you were if you use like a 6'4 defender with like 70 something agility and 70 something balance, you should be able to keep up with those smaller forwards like making those quick cuts in the box. It might take a little bit of time getting used to this build when defending because it is a lot more responsive and quicker than a lot of the other defenders you might use, especially like the default defender, like the default center backs. So it just might take some time to get used to this build, but don't worry about it. Just practice with it and I think you'll end up liking it if you do struggle defending with this build uh, off the start. So don't give up on this build if it does feel a little bit difficult to defend at first. It might just take some time to get used to that high agility and balance when defending, but once you get used to it, you're going to be pretty much 
unbeatable. No one should be able to get by you one-on-one. You should be able to steal the ball and help your team out on the counterattack for offense. So over here on this right section of dribbling, what I was really going for was just upping the dribbling up a little bit without trying to use too many skill points. But if we take it off, as you guys can see, we have pretty bad dribbling stats. 78 ball control and 69 dribbling. We wanted to up that at least into the 70s for dribbling. So what you're going to want to do is get this first dribbling. The second one gives you one dribbling, one ball control for one skill point. So very good. This, that other one is really good too because it gives you plus two ball control for one and then plus two dribbling for one. And this one gives you plus three dribbling stats, plus two ball control, and plus one dribbling for only two skill points. So all this stuff are actually really good value for skill points and stats wise. So that's why I have that. And that'll get you 274 dribbling and 83 ball control, which really isn't bad at all for a center back. And it definitely makes a substantial upgrade to the base stats again, which are 78, 69. So it gives us a pretty good upgrade to what our base stats are for the center back build. So now we're going to go to the defensive section, which is absolutely insane. Some of the best defensive stats I've seen in pro clubs. So now going over to defending, we have a full max out defensive page, which is probably what y'all would expect for a center back build. It might not be necessary. Like you probably don't need these insane of defensive stats, but you might as well since we have the extra skill points for it. I decided to go for a full increase. And then as a six foot, 149 pound center back, this is the stats it gives us. So if you played a lot of games as a defender or a center back, y'all's defensive stats might be higher than mine, or it could be less. I don't really know how it works, but just keep in mind, some of y'all's stats might be less. Some of y'all's stats might be higher, just depending how many games you've played. But over here, just looking at it, reviewing the stats, 90 inter 97 interceptions, absolutely crazy. He got a lot of interceptions using this build, I did notice. Some of them might have just been simple interceptions, but others were pretty impressive. And then that pace to help with those interceptions is pretty crucial too because although you have a high interception stat if you don't have enough pace to actually get there it's pretty useless so that definitely helps with the pace and those high interceptions the 88 defensive awareness and then 95 stand tackle 97 slide tackle which is actually crazy and as this video has been playing y'all have seen a lot of the defensive clips of this build and you can see how strong it is defensively when it comes to slide tackling stand tackling interceptions winning the ball in the air it's just a really well-rounded center back build that can be used for a bunch of situations and it has even scored goals for us too which is pretty clutch so yeah just looking at this defensive page the stats are absolutely cracked and it's going to be really tough for someone to dribble by you with this build. All right, guys. So over here on the last section, which is the physical page, we do have a lot of skill points. But what I was going for here was trying to increase the jumping to max and the strength. If I take off this left side, you can see that the base strength stats for the center back are not good at all for a six foot center back. So what we really wanted to do is get that strength at least over 80 um so that's what i went for we went for this bear claw and then this jumping focus which will get you to 82 strength which isn't too bad for a six foot center back that's a lot stronger than pretty much all the striker builds that you will come up against in pro clubs and then like my any was using this center back like i said earlier this is more of a pacier center back paired up with the default computer center back which is like six three strong not nearly as fast so it's a really good combination to have like a weaker, faster center back and then like a stronger, bulkier, tankier center back and a lot taller. Um, it's a really good combination to use in the back. So we got 82 strength and then the 96 jumping, which is might be the highest I've seen on any pro clubs build. These center backs have some crazy jumping, 96 jumping, and that's maxed out. That's the highest you'll get. So some of y'all's might be a little bit less. But still, even if it's like 95 or 94, that's going to be insane. But the 96 jumping and a lot of the clips, if I haven't shown all the header clips, you can actually see him just spring up. And now I'm actually remembering like one of the clips, he actually, like I think just to clear the ball out of the box, like they had a, the other team had a corner. Um, our any cleared it out with his head and his player jumped over, fully jumped over an actual player's head to win the header like he completely jumped over the dude and then landed on his feet after he headed the ball out of the box it was actually pretty crazy and that just proves like 
the insane jumping ability. And then a lot of the corner goals that we scored off of to him, you can just see how fast he springs up as a six foot center back with that 96 jumping. It's actually pretty crazy. And then that 89 heading actually to put the ball in the back of the net is extremely clutch as well. On this right section for physical guys, we did not go for the second win because I really don't think it's necessary as a center back. Even if you're playing center back solely and not just playing any, and you're actually using the center back the whole time, uh, I still don't think you need the second win because you're not going to be running up and down the field nearly as much as if you were like playing a midfielder or a striker. So you really don't need the second win. So it's just a waste of skill points. And then I went all the way down to the last kangaroo right above the second win, which will actually up, up your stamina and up your jumping. This is really just because I wanted these jumping stats right here, which makes you get all these stamina stats as well, which might not be too important. But... It'll just upgrade your jumping to 96, like what I have it, and it's actually crazy. That's what helped us win so many headers with this build um, and score so many goals with this build off of corners because of that crazy jumping. Uh, because you're six foot and not like crazy tall, you really need that high jumping stat to spring up there and win the ball over the taller players, so it's extremely clutch. But this is going to wrap it up for this center back build, guys. I hope you all enjoyed it. And if you all do try this build out, please let me know in the comments how it worked for you. It would be funny if you could annoy people and ruin people's day on pro clubs by just playing center back and not letting them score. So if, if some of you all do try that out, please let me know how it worked in the comments. And if y'all enjoyed this video, please hit that like button if you haven't already. And if you already subscribed to my channel, I would greatly appreciate it. You could do that as well. Thank you guys for watching. Y'all have a great rest of y'all's day and peace out.